With the Titans having played on Thursday night football in Green Bay, obviously there's no game this weekend. So Mike and Amy are answering questions about the Titans' new stadium project on this episode of Titans All Access. And that starts right now. The franchise record for touchdowns for the King, Derrick Henry, has number 76. Sack! Under pressure, he's going to be sacked! It's McCrary with his first career INT. It's intercepted. Andrew Adams intercepted. Fulton with the interception. Welcome to Titans All Access. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. And with no Titans game this weekend, we have stepped outside of the Bet MGM studio to talk about the hottest topic among Titans fans right now. Derrick Henry. Maybe not. The second hottest topic among Titans fans right now. The new stadium. Everybody has questions. We've got answers. Let's start with this. Where's the new stadium going to be built? Right here. Right here. <laughs> We're in the parking lots outside of Nissan Stadium closer to the interstate. So in these parking lots is where they're going to drop in the new structure that will be ready in either 2026 or 2027. It's a great thing. Excited about it and excited that we get to stay in this general area, which brings us to our Hughes and Coleman decision of the week. Why is this the perfect location for the new stadium? Because it's such a great location in Nashville. It's right in the middle of everything. You're so close to downtown. You're so close to the interstate. Really, the Tennessee Titans right now have one of the best locations in the National Football League. So why not stay here? Absolutely. Just build the new stadium right next to the old one, and then you have some abilities to develop even further in the future. Okay, so what about Nissan Stadium? Can the Titans still play there? while the construction of the new stadium is happening? Absolutely they can. Oh, that's great. We don't have to move. Nope. So we'll be able to play there while they're building here and get ready for what comes next after that. And that is when we're in the new building, what happens to Nissan Stadium? Well, it goes away. It goes away. Yes, but again, the development opportunities. There's a lot of opportunities for some enhancement to that area. Yeah, this whole area on this side of the river is going to be spectacular it's really going to end up being maybe the new center of the city. At least that's what we're hoping because of all the possibilities and all the excitement. The stadium capacity will be 60,000. Why is that perfect for the new Titans facility? Our president and CEO, Burke Nihill, has a better answer to that than either one of us could probably give. Let's build the right building with the right seats, not start with an arbitrary number uh, for capacity. Uh, that was frankly old thinking and what you end up with is you end up with some seats that are that are not great uh, viewing and, and game experiences. So uh, when we say a 60,000 person capacity, we're talking about 60,000 great experiences in that building. We'll hear more from Burke Nihill later in this edition of Titans All Access, but when we come back, you've got questions about your PSLs and your tickets? We've got answers on this special Titans All Access. I always have the fans in my thoughts. When, whenever I make a decision, whether if it's something to do with football or something to do with the stadium or something to do with the new stadium, I'm always thinking about what are my fans, what are they gonna like? And you know, whether I'm out in the tailgates with them or wherever we are, it's just fun being with them and hearing their thoughts and, and I'm listening. There's probably nobody more excited about the new Titan Stadium than owner Amy Adams Strunk. And she mentions the fans and that she thinks about the fans in everything she does, 100% true. We're thinking about the fans right now as we bring in Jim Rice, who is the Titans Senior Director for Ticket Sales, and we get to hit some hot topics with Jim. Thanks for being on the show, Jim. Glad to be here, Mike. Excited to see what you got for me. Jim, we want to start in immediately by talking about questions that current PSL holders have in Nissan Stadium about the new stadium. I guess the first question is, do current PSL holders get 
first dibs or credit in the new stadium? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a question we've been getting a lot over the phone, uh, especially when it comes to fans where we're trying to get on board uh, as new season ticket members at the current building. Um, you know, obviously we've been going through this process for several months now, and I can tell you uh, from the start, uh, Amy, Burke, the rest of the leadership team has made it a focus as an organization to prioritize our PSL holders and, and season ticket members. And yes, we will be giving them dibs, as you say, uh, and then along with that, a, a full credit in line with the value of the PSL uh, based on the year in which they acquired it. Jim, I've had a lot of people already ask me, can I go ahead and buy tickets in the new stadium? Great question, Mike. No, not yet. Uh, but like I just mentioned, the, the best way to jump on board and get access to that would be to become a season ticket member, whether that's now or if you want to wait until after, you know, all the approvals are made. But uh, plan would be to, to push out communication sometime in, in 2023 on what that, what that process would look like. Finally, how do people learn more about buying tickets in the future? Yeah, Amy, there's, there's several ways. Um, obviously, they can follow us on social media, you know, all the platforms that the cool kids are using these days. Um, they can visit us at uh, TennesseeTitans.com forward slash tickets, uh, which will show all the, the current offerings we have, whether that's season tickets, single game tickets, partial plans, and the other special offers we're running. Uh, if they want to stay updated on, on new stadium info, they can go to TennesseeTitans.com forward slash new stadium. Our PR team and marketing team have done a really good job of keeping that updated with renderings and videos and, and need to know information. Or, you know, I'd strongly suggest if they're looking at information for either the, the current building or the new building to, to give us a call. We've got reps standing by Monday through Friday, occasionally on the weekend. Uh, so just give us a shout, 615-565-4200. That's our guy, Jim Rice, Senior Director of Ticket Sales with a lot of good information. Speaking of good information, Talking Ball with John Robinson always provides it. It is next as the GM has some good things to say about what he's excited about in the new stadium. Stay tuned. A new stadium, we're talking about new events, new Super Bowl, World Cup, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So I think it's going to continue to bring more, you know, more people to this city. Uh, so, so it's great just long term for this entire community. All right, Mike, we've talked about a lot of the logistics of getting a new stadium, but let's get down to the good stuff. Yes. Here's what everybody really wants to know. Is Nashville going to get a Super Bowl because of the new stadium? Well, you know what I did? I went to the commissioner of the National Football League, Roger Goodell, and asked him that very question. Do we get a Super Bowl when the new stadium is ready to go? You know, the, the Super Bowl has become an incredible event. I, I think this community, they showed us where they raised the bar in the draft. I think they have the opportunity here to raise the bar for the Super Bowl. Um, I think the stadium itself is an important piece of that, but it's much more behind that. It's, it's, it's really um, all the infrastructure, but more importantly, this community's enthusiasm for making this be on a, a global stage here. And so uh, I look forward to that day. So he didn't give a 100% yes answer by any stretch of the imagination because he's not going to. But he didn't say no. But he didn't say no. And the thing that he really went into was how impressed everyone was when Nashville hosted the 2019 NFL Draft. Nashville's blown everybody away by their ability to put on big events. The NFL has seen it themselves from their own experience with the draft. And I don't think there's any question when this beautiful new facility is ready to go, it's going to be a Super Bowl right here. Maybe well, it might be over there or right here. here, right here. Right here. We're in the parking lot where they're going to build it. We're not sure this is the exact. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> time for some talking ball presented by Duncan. You had a chance to visit with the GM, John Robinson, to get some of his thoughts about the new Titan Stadium. I did, and I'd preview it, but it's better if we just hit it. John, Nissan Stadium has always had a great home field advantage. With the new stadium, with a roof and a little louder noise, is the Titans home field advantage going to increase? Well, I mean, I certainly hope so. It's, there's nothing like it on Sunday afternoons when, you know, we need a big third down stop or we score a touchdown to hear our fans uh, erupt. And, you know, the sound escapes out the top, but hopefully with a roof over the top, it kind of reverberates back down and you know, it becomes even more intimidating for our opponents. When thinking about the new stadium, as players, as coaches, as staff, um, what does it say to you about Amy Adams Strunk and the investment that she's making in this organization? Yeah, I mean, we, I've seen it ever since I've gotten here. Her commitment to the organization, her commitment to the football team with the upgraded facilities, 
um, the, the day I got here with a new locker room and it's been every single year that she's has you know invested in the football team invested in the community and now now this new stadium is just another step and another show of her commitment to the Titans her football team and the city of Nashville. You're a native Tennessean, so you remember the pride that everybody felt when the Tennessee Titans came to town and got their own stadium. Now with this new stadium, is that just another step in the amount of pride that everyone can feel about this organization? I, th I certainly think so. I mean, it's going to be a first-class facility. Uh, I can remember when you know when the team moved here, and uh, it used to be an old shipbuilding yard, and um, we replaced it with an NFL stadium, which I thought was really, really cool. And now the expansiveness that it's going to take on, uh, it's going to be the place to be, you know, in downtown Nashville. And I'm just excited to see it uh, unfold. Now, Mike, those were some great thoughts from the general manager, but I want to clear up a couple things, make sure we're all on the same page. That's a good idea. So, Mike, it has a roof. The building will have a roof, which is why it will be able to host the biggest events in the world and all kinds of things for the people of Nashville, the people of Middle Tennessee, Tennessee. It's going to be a fantastic facility for everything, largely because of the roof. Is that roof retractable? The roof is not retractable. No, it is not. So what is this roof made of? It's made of ETFE. Mike, what is ETFE? I actually know this. It's ethylene tetrafluoroethylene. What is that? Well, what it ends up being, and I, I'm, not a, I'm not a chemist, so I don't know for sure, but the roof is going to be translucent. Like the sky. Like the sky, which is why the new stadium here in downtown Nashville will have an incredible feel that we're going to talk about with Burke Nihill and one of the architects on the project from Manica, Keith Robinson, coming up in our Nissan Insider next on Titans All Access. We welcome you back to Titans All Access. In case you're just joining us, obviously this is not the Bet MGM studio. We're standing in the parking lot, or parking lots, where they will be building the new football stadium here for the Tennessee Titans and for everything that Nashville wants to do. We're excited to answer your questions about some of the basics. And I had a chance to sit down with Titans President and CEO Burke Nihill and Manica Architectures Keith Robinson to ask about some specifics of design. That's this week's Nissan Insider. Why was it necessary to go ahead and start putting the renderings in place and coming up with a plan now? The reason why we needed to, to get a concept this, uh, this specific is for two reasons. One, we needed to know whether a building could actually be built in those parking lots. Sure. It's, it, it seems like when you look at uh, an overhead shot, there's a stadium shaped parking lot uh, off to the east, but it's really not as easy as it seems to just superimpose one building onto the other, other parking lot. And we needed to know, does it fit? When you talk about getting a loading dock to, to get buses underneath the building, and, and can, you, can you build a building uh, while still operating Nissan Stadium with construction uh, put down areas and, and that sort of thing? So that was one. The second is, uh, we are really, really serious about being sure that uh, we can build a building on a budget. The whole time that we were working with Manica, uh, Keith and his team, we were also talking to contractors. And we wanted to have a, a real building that could be built. And we, we got feedback from contractors about the cost of that building. We would send them concepts and get their feedback about this material versus that material, which one is, is going to be a durable material that, that's gonna offer some cost savings, right? We know in this building how many doors are in that building, how much those doors would cost to, to purchase and install. So the budget that we've worked through with Mayor Cooper and his team is a real budget. Keith, what were the parts of developing this plan that were exciting and maybe even challenging for you and the folks at Manica? Well, Burke touched on a lot of the, the challenges that we faced. I think the site was probably one of the biggest hurdles that we had to overcome. You know, it's part of a bigger development. 
it's not a sort of isolated building. I think there's an analogy in the past about stadiums sort of behaving as though they're the center of the sun, right? And everything else orbits around them. In this case, this particular site was unique because you're creating something a lot of teams dream of being able to do from the ground up. So designing a very compact building that was sort of a good neighbor each direction it faced for different reasons to tie into a broader vision and development for the city was very important. What were the principles that guided this development from start to this point, Burke? First, the building had to be genuine Nashville. Uh, Nashville has a soul. Uh, Nashville is a, is a place that um, is rich in character. And so we, we wanted to build a building that um, it's, it's gonna be an iconic building for the city. And so uh, the design really needs to reflect Nashville in a, in a pure and genuine way. So we did a lot of studying of about what that even means, right? You kind of know it when you see it, but um, we did a lot of research uh, into all neighborhoods in, in Nashville and in the history of Nashville and the great buildings of Nashville. The design is inspired by, by being genuine Nashville. The next is having a great fan experience. Um, this is a building that if you're starting from scratch, um, everyone walking through those doors, whether it's for a Titans game, a concert, a community event, uh, should have a great experience. And then the third is diversity of experience. Nissan Stadium today, has, it's been a great home for, for the Titans and, and other events in Nashville for years, but there's really only four experiences. There's a lower bowl, an upper bowl, clubs, and suites. Um, this is a total paradigm shift. This next building will have 15 or 20 different experiences from a premium experience all the way to a very social experience. So a millennial, for example, can uh, enjoy a game-long tailgate inside the building uh, and, uh, and, and have a more social experience. So those are the three principles that guided us. The one that jumps out to me, Keith, uh, really is about the experience part for the fans inside. Mm -hmm. Because one thing we've always said about Nissan Stadium, it's a great place to go watch a ball game. The sight lines have always been good. How do you maintain that principle in the new Titan State? Well, it starts by pulling the fans as close as we can to the league standard. So that means um, as you work your way around the field, the fans will be as close as they possibly could be to the game of play. And then we're going to max out the steepness of this bowl to pull everybody in as tight and compact as we can, which adds both, you know, the proximity to the field will feel much closer to the fan, but also when you think about these things as a vessel of space, we're containing more people in the shorter volume of space, which means it will be louder and, and the energy will sort of prevail throughout. So looking at the renderings of the roof, we're, we're not talking about the old dome. We're talking about something completely new that will give the stadium an amazing feel in daytime and night. SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles and Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas have, have similar translucent roofs. And uh, having stepped foot in those buildings, um, it's, it's a third thing. There's mm -hmm. inside, there's outside, and then there's the feeling of being in an indoor facility with a translucent roof so the daylight is coming through. And, and we're looking to, to add this new dimension as well with, with a lot of glass on the sides, perhaps making those garage doors so you could actually get a cross breeze coming through. So daylight coming through the roof, cross breeze coming through the windows on the sides. It's gonna be an incredible experience. Keith, how is this gonna to compare to other stadiums in the NFL, other new developments that Manica has taken part in? It will be uniquely Nashville. So I think when people see not only what it looks like on the outside, but that is sort of reinforcing what's happening on the inside of that building, what Burke just said about the indoor aspect of this. So I think in a lot of ways, it's gonna set a different bar for the NFL. It's a much different sort of architecture for an NFL stadium, but it's uniquely fit and perfect for Nashville. Nashville's a top five city in America in terms of chef-driven restaurants. It's always a tremendous honor to be able to represent the city. Nashville's freaking amazing. Hey, it's Matt Moore. Be sure to check out Taste of Tennessee exclusively on LG channels and LG OLED TVs. Your dad took a chance on this city over a quarter century ago. I'd say it's worked out okay. If he I'd were, say. if he were here right now, and he saw the renderings we're going to take a look at in just a minute, and he knew what the plan was and how people have come together to make this happen. What in the world would he say? Oh my gosh, he'd be so excited. You know, I'm gonna tell you a little story about my dad. When he was making the move from Houston, Nashville was the only city he would look at. And the people that were helping him tried to get him, go to LA, Mr. Adams, you need to at least see these other spots. And he wasn't having it. He was like, I'm going to Nashville. Mayor Bredesen and I are gonna get this done. He loved Tennessee and he loved Nashville, and there was gonna be no other home for him. So he would be 
so proud. And probably patting himself on the back. Maybe. And didn't I do good? <laughs> but we all think that. Sure. Yes. Well, he had a gut feeling about he it. He did. Didn't he? he did. I mean, the the East Bank was warehouses, and you know, he he saw something special. He wanted the stadium there, and and it's it's worked out great. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Titans All Access, where we've had a chance to answer some of the big questions about the new Titan Stadium, the new great Nashville Stadium that's gonna be built right in this spot. I have one more question that I want answered from my partner, Amy Wells. What are you looking most forward to about this entire development which is gonna be such a special place. You know, it's actually an area outside of the stadium. It's the plaza area. There's going to be big screens. There's going to be a lot of open space. It's gonna be a community gathering place. So there can be movie nights, there can be farmer's markets and all these different things beyond just what happens on Sunday. So excited for it to be a place where the entire community can enjoy the area and it's great for families. So if you have a young daughter, you're probably gonna be down here a lot. I do have a young daughter and I will be down here a lot. And I have an older daughter and we'll be down here a lot too. It'd be <laughs> great. So uh, we're just so excited about all of this and appreciate Titans fans everywhere and their enthusiasm as the process moves on. You see it, you hear about it, and you take part in what is going to be the next big moment for the Titans. But the next actual moment for the Titans comes at Nissan Stadium next Sunday when we host Cincinnati. We'll get you ready for the game with the Bengals with a very special Nissan Insider. It's a surprise. Ooh. And we'll be back in the Bed MGM studio as well. That's good. That's good too. Yes. For Amy <laughs> Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time.